Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So it's about 12.15, it is 12.9, 2015, 39.2 degrees outside here. Um, it is 3.5 Celsius and 60% humidity. And no, the battery is in charge, got this whole overcast thing going on. Welcome to Wednesday. There we are, Wednesday. So, um, the Horde is always trying to get a little bit more organized, get, get some better tools, get it so that you pick up one thing and you're able to do several tasks with it. And part as the, of the Christmas push here for um, particularly Lowe's, they're selling these things here. Um... First of all, well, I took one out of the package, let me show it to you. Oh, this one's out of the package. If I can get it back out. One second. So, that's what it looks like. A couple of things. First of all, I didn't realize Irwin and Vice Grip War One. I don't know when that happened. So that's one thing I didn't realize. The second thing I didn't realize is uh you guys see what that says, right? Made in China to Irwin specifications. So that's not great. I thought um this stuff was still made here in America. So anyway, it's a vice grip, which is nice. It's also a knife. Remind me not to do this stuff with gloves on anymore. Right, so it's also a knife. Um, down here, right, you can see where it closes. It's able to cut wires. And you're also able to, right, you got a Phillips head screwdriver and a regular screwdriver. So I saw these and they're online. They're about 25 bucks each. So I said, you know what? That's a, that's a good thing to put into the um, one in each toolbox. So I bought two. Right. So there's the two I bought. Lowe's sent me those two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. So they sent me an extra five. Unbelievable. And to this, I have to ask, is it just me or is it everywhere I'm going and doing business, things just aren't working out, whether it's online or not? Um, we added, we're going to call this the kind of the screw up list. Uh, Harbor Freight gets on the screw-up list. Um, I was in there today, and I had my free mo meter coupon, which I got my free meter. I was uh, buying another one of those flex, flexible 3-8, uh, quarter-inch uh, ratchet things. I got my discount there, but then I had 20% on the third item, and I didn't get the 20%. Well, that was partially my screw-up because... Um, the girl was distracting. She was, uh, you know, joking, flirtatious, all that stuff. And I watched her scan the coupon, but for some reason, when I checked it later um, in the car, it didn't, it didn't go through. And I didn't want to go back and uh, say anything, because, I mean, she's a nice enough kid and all. And her manager is just like a difficult individual. 
So um, I know the manager would have like written her up and tortured her. So um, I let it pass. So they got me for about uh, three bucks. So there's Harbor Freight. Lowe's for sending me extra pliers. Oh, and I, I remember GPS for breaking, destroying the motor. Um, that's sin number one. Uh, sin number two with them is I mailed it back a week ago. Uh, it was a week ago yesterday. And when I contacted him last night, he still had not gotten it. So I don't know what's going on with UPS, but um, they're, just, they're just not cutting it these days. Um, I seem to be getting more and more of my stuff Federal Express. And I think what these guys do... Damn, everywhere I look, this thing is, man. Get the hell out of here. Um, yeah, I, more more of my stuff seems to be showing up uh, through Federal Express, and they, they seem to do a little better job. I don't know which one's more expensive and, and all, but um, they... I haven't gotten anything broken from Federal Express. Uh, just a quick comment. You guys will recognize this. I have this same toolbox up and upstairs and downstairs. And I finally uncovered it. And I went to use it. And I got to tell you, this toolbox, the way I have it set up, is completely unworkable. I have, you know... These are open-end wrenches, and these are more open-end wrenches, and there's a breaker bar, and there's another breaker bar, and there's a long-handled ratchet. I, I mean, this this box is unworkable. You know, I put the um, the downstairs box together, um, and it it's worked out so well for me that um, I have to do the same thing up here. I mean, this this mess here, it, it seems that what's in this drawer is every size I never use. Never, ever, ever. When you, when you work on Hondas, typically you're using um, mostly, believe it or not, 8 and 10 uh, for carburetor work and junk like that. Um, occasionally a 12, you know, 14, 17, um, and it, it just seems like they're not in there. When you're working on um, lawnmower stuff, use uh, 7 sixteenths, half inch, occasional 3 eighths, occasional 9 sixteenths on the bigger motors, and it seems like I have every size but those in this box. So I... I gotta, I gotta go through this box. I'm gonna make this box the same as the, um, the box I have downstairs, including a bunch of the paperwork. I have, um, I can only flash this because uh, I'll end up with a copyright from our, our friends at uh, YouTube. But um, any, any of the literature I have, I'm also going to um, include, include that um, in, in the box. That way, whether I'm up above or down below, I could um, I can use it. I did get the vise, the drill press, and the chop saw up here. I got to finish clearing this off, but just having them up here on the table means I'm not like bending over and picking them up from the floor. Uh, so that's one thing I got to do. The other thing, and I, I've seen this in a bunch of organization videos where people organize their garage such that they're functional, they actually um, set up stuff underneath the bench so that it's on um, dollies, those wheel dollies. They're on sale right now at Harbor Freight for eight ninety nine each, or you can make your own, um, obviously, if you've got casters floating around. And they just put a, uh, set them up on a piece of plywood so that whenever they got to get anything out from under the bench, they just roll it right out, right? They don't, they don't have to fight with it. Um, that's not a bad idea. Uh, it does two things. It makes it easier easier to get junk out from under the bench which is plus number one and plus number two it gets stuff off the floor right um if you have stuff on the floor or just slightly off the floor uh it, it just it just doesn't keep as well um if it's got some rust it makes the rust go faster um 
just kind of stays cleaner. I think any dirt that falls on it falls around it and through it and ends up on the floor rather than all clustering right on it. So, um, thanks for watching and commenting and, uh, and subscribing, right? Really appreciate all the above. Um, remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and folks, get out there and enjoy all your days. I don't know if you guys are all having the same problems with kind of uh, getting ripped off or almost getting ripped off or getting, getting messed with. Um, you know, I... I won't say that I do a lot of business out there. Um, I, I do, you, you know, I'm your average consumer, I'd say. Maybe I hoard a little too much crap, but, you, you know, I'm really a fairly average consumer. To, you know, make it up to 10 surprises or screw-ups or whatever you want to call it in the last couple of weeks... I, you know, I have to tell you, it's it's probably more than 50% of the deals I've made out there. So I hope you guys are checking your receipts and paying attention, because I I can't be the only one getting getting screwed with. Not not this frequently. I mean, I'm not wearing a kick me sign. I don't think. Right? There's no kick me sign. There's hold, but there's no kick me sign. So. Anyway, folks, once again, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now.